So now we're here at the linebacker position. And here's the thing. So I was talking about how the front seven was Washington's strong suit in the secondary. It was meh. Well, here's the thing. Washington's linebacking core was the weakest um, part of the defense. And here's why. Um, their running, their, their run-stop defense was horrible. Um, the front seven, you know, if... The front seven, you know, the defensive ends and the defensive tackles can't make tackles when the team is running. It's up to the linebackers to make stops, and they couldn't. Um, so they really, you know, the only players as linebackers that caught my attention that, that did anything of note was Kevin Pierre-Lewis, who we all thought was just going to be sticking to special teams, but he actually um, came at a cheap deal. He played okay. He didn't play great. He didn't play good. He played okay. Um, had a few um, key plays. Um, had a few sacks throughout the year as well. Um, had turnovers. I don't. I think he had an interception. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments. But that was Kevin Pierre Lewis. I wouldn't mind bringing him back just because um, of the veteran presence. John Bostic is another person who played okay. Aside from the Dallas uh, game that was played here in, in in Landover, where he had that nasty hit on Andy Dalton um, and got fined, got ejected from the game, I think that that was enough. Um, but, you know, he got disciplined when he got disciplined. Had a huge interception that was assisted by the by the tip of the pass of, um, of uh, Montez Sweat, as I discussed earlier, in the Steelers game that sealed... The Steelers game, when the Steelers were driving with two minutes to go in the game. And then that interception by John Bostic sealed it. So he played okay as well for what was given. Um, Cole Holcomb in the Dallas game had a breakout game. Had an interception as well for himself. Had a few sacks. So he had a, you know, he was a rookie last year. So, um, he had a breakout year this year, in my opinion, but all around. And then of course there's Kalik Hudson, Washington's, um, rookie, but he really was just used for special teams. Um, Sean Dion Hamilton didn't do anything of note, got released, uh, before week 17 or after week 17 point was that he was released, really didn't do anything of note. Sean Dion Hamilton did. So the linebacking core was the weakest because they did allow, Big runs given up. Washington's run defense was the only weakness of the defense altogether. So I expect Ron Rivera, Marty Herney, Mar uh, Martin Mayhew to address that in the offseason, um, either via the e either via free agency or the draft. So like I said, stay tuned for my take on who Washington should bring up, either via free agency or draft for linebackers. But I think that they need to spend not a first round pick, but maybe a second or third rounder on their linebacking core because the linebackers this year was the biggest weakness for Washington as well. So um, let me know what you guys thought about uh, linebackers for the Washington football team. I think they did poorly for they did poorly to okay. Which is why, as much as it hurts me to do this, I'm going to give them a C, a C. I'm not going to give them a C+. Plus. I'm going to give them a C. They did 70% because, like I said, big plays were made with Kevin Pierre-Lewis, John Bostic, um, also, and um, uh, Cole Holcomb. Those three, those three linebackers did something, while the others really didn't do anything of note. Um, like I said, they were the weakness of this defense. So let me know what you guys think. Um, next up is going to be the cornerback group. So that is what's coming in the next segment.